Hello everyone, this is Scrapyard Studios and today I will be giving commentary over James and the coaches. Without further ado, let's begin. One so I thought I'd switch things up with this remake and combine John Gilgood's narration with Morris's dialogue. I really like when people do that with their remakes as it's unexpected and gives flavour to the video at the same time. James did not like that at all. And so this little was set was actually modelled after a crosslines set. Um, I think I've deleted the actual footage for crosslines using this set, but if I haven't, I'll probably throw some on screen right now. But um, yeah, that footage was based off of footage from crosslines. James was cross that morning. The Fed controller had spoken to him. The coaches God, if there's anything I hate about my old remakes, it's that Natford and probably most of my sets, they look so bare. I'm glad in recent times I've actually like put flavour in and like put little bits of cargo in and everything. Especially the retaining wall as well. This was a fun transition shot to film as well. This scene was quite fun to put together as well. Um, now at the time of this remix production, the PIP feature as it's called was a new thing for the app. And also notice how I didn't include the boys in this. It's because I didn't have any double O gauge children at hand. And as soon as the guards whistle blew, he started off with a tremendous jerk. Come on, come on. Fun fact about that wall there, um, the paint was still wet when recording. And if you couldn't tell, this um, this coach was used from um, a large-scale annual Clarabelle. Um, originally, I was going to use this mouthpiece modeled after this coach in um, Coaches and Quarrels by Carson, but I didn't end up using it in the end. And that coach is now living a happy retirement at my dad's house. You might as well ask. This is my brother's G-scale James I'm using here. As um, I said in a previous commentary, I didn't have a close-up James model built yet. So I just used to steal my brothers. I will say, if I knew how to make a convincing brake pipe at this time, I would have definitely put one on the close-up coach to film with. It's a shame I couldn't, honestly. Well, we'll do it with newspapers and a leather bootlace. Ah, where's the bootlace coming from? Well, we'll ask the passengers. So ah, yes, there's the down. super secret, super awesome, brown, troublesome trucks. Um, yep, I'm very happy to own those. And um, I would cut the coal out like I've done with all my other trucks, but that would be sacrilege. Also, these sequences of shots were quite fun to film as well. And now they're all staring him down into Spence. Whenever thinking back to this remake, these shots with the guard always stick with me. I've no idea why. Maybe it's Morris's delivery or the way I filmed the it. I don't. I don't know. The guard, the driver, and the fireman. What a bad railway it was! But the guard climbed into his van. And the, the steam was quite frustrating to do, steam. as this was done in iMovie, Jeremiah and I had to save over and over again just to get it at the right angle. And that suit races. doesn't fit me anymore. Um, yeah, that suit I wore was at my James dad's wedding, which was five years ago, and it doesn't fit me. In fact, I was only wearing it on one arm because it was just that fucking small. And that was my commentary on James and the Coaches. As always, hope you enjoyed. You've been watching Scrapyard Studios and I will see you soon. Goodbye.